Hey everybody, welcome to the best-selling bourbons of Q3 2020. Now, this came directly from Drizzly. This is an exclusive, so I've got the exclusive access to this data, and no one else has it. So you're gonna, this is crazy. The data that's coming in right now, you are not going to believe what's in their top 20. I dare say Blanton's is in their top 20. Weller is in their top 20. I'm like, who in the hell is getting all this Weller and Blanton's? Because all I ever hear people do is complain about the fact they can't get it. Now, what is Drizzly's? Drizzly's is an online uh, purveyor. They basically connect with they connect with uh, liquor stores in particular areas of the country. They're in the majority of the country, and they uh, they have an online ordering system. And you can go to Drizzly's and you can order something and your local retailer will fulfill that order and have it delivered to you. Now the wholesalers have a piece of Drizzly's and it is essentially the three tier systems version of shipping. Now, before I get into that list, I want to tell you about my show sponsor, Manscaped, manscaped.com. You can uh, go to manscaped.com and use the code word SMOOTHFRED to save 20% and get free shipping on any of their products up there. Now, one of the things they got is the Weed Whacker. The Weed Whacker is basically intended for those people with, with like nose hairs and ear hairs. Look, I'm not a nose hair guy. I've never been a nose hair guy, but I've seen people with nose hair and that shit needs to get trimmed. I'm just saying go to uh, manscaped.com, use the code word SMOOTHFRED to check to get that weed whacker to take care of your nose hairs. Okay, so more, more on to um, whiskey-related things. I'm sure there's a lot of people in whiskey who have nose hair issues. I do not mean to hate on you. So let's get to the uh, top 20 of... Um, the top 20 best-selling bourbons of Q3 2020. At number 20, Makers 46. Makers 46 coming in at number 20. At number 19, Four Roses Single Barrel. Hmm, that's a pretty good one, Four Roses Single Barrel. At number 18, High West American Prairie Bourbon Whiskey. Now, that's interesting. High West is... Um, is now owned by Constellation Brands, and they've been slowly, you know, buying and getting more into the bourbon space. And this is their only one on that list. I wonder as they grow, will they get more on this list? At number 17, Weller Special Reserve. Again, I do not know who's getting all this Weller because I cannot find it in my local liquor stores. That's crazy. And number 16, another Sazerac product, Eagle Rare 10 year old. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, if I see it in the store, I mean, it's I'm gonna buy it. And uh, if I could buy it online, I would. At number 15, Woodford Reserve Double Oat Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Eh, okay. Number 14, Elijah Craig Small Batch Bourbon. 13, Wild Turkey 101. Uh, that seems pretty low to me for Wild Turkey. I, you know, you got to remember Drizzly is basically one form of data. Uh, I think Wild Turkey does really, really well with like in-store purchases. But, you know, Drizzly is online, so it skews younger, it skews millennial. And I think, uh, I think that number, if you were to take a look at all sales, would probably be higher. At number 12, uh, Four Roses Small Batch Bourbon. Four Roses Small Batch Bourbon, bourbon at number four. Actually, I think that might be, I think that might be yellow label. Uh, let's just say that we'll have a comment later on for clarification from Drizzly because it just has uh, Four Roses Bourbon here, so that might just be their old yellow label. At number 11, in the bourbon category, Angel's Envy. So Angel's Envy is doing really well on the online sales from Drizzly's. Number 10, Blanton's. You have got to be kidding me. Blanton's is on this list at number 10. Now, where was it last year? Last quarter, it was in that same kind of area. 
I'm, I'm just kind of shocked by this because I didn't know there was enough Blanton's getting out into stores to even get on on the best-selling uh, meter here. Now, this is this is based on cases and not necessarily money. Uh, so that's a shocker to me that Blanton's is a top 10 bestseller right now because I just didn't know there was that much getting into the market. At number nine, Knob Creek. Knob Creek. That is, uh, that's not a surprise. Um, Knob Creek's great. It's my favorite bourbon to have in a Manhattan. So number eight, Evan Williams Bourbon. Now I'm going to assume that's going to be the black label, but Evan Williams comes in at number eight. I'd say uh, that's probably about right. I think nationally, if you were to take a look at it, it's probably number two or number three. In fact, the data that does come in says that it is the number two best-selling uh, bourbon behind Jim Beam, and that's on a volume perspective. So again, this is based on one uh, one bit of data from Drizzly. Now, granted, this is really good data. This is really accurate data, but we're looking at Evan Williams coming in at number eight from on uh, Drizzly's sales right now. At number seven, Buffalo Trace. So right here, uh, the Sazerac brands, we got one, two, three, four. We got four Sazerac brands on here. Buffalo Trace, Blanton's, Eagle Rare, and Weller. And that's the last of them. But man, I, I got to tell you, that's, that's, a, that's a big shock to me. That's a big, big shock to me. Uh, just because I did not think that they would necessarily have the volume to be able to meet uh, you know that particular demand at number six basil hayden's yeah that's about right but hey basil hayden's is a really good like you know beginner whiskey and so it kind of gets a uh it kind of gets in that crowd that wants to try bourbon for the first time and there's a lot of people online always looking for bourbon so i think basil hayden at six is probably really taking advantage of that kind of like novice beginner crowd and and those who like it just absolutely love it so uh it got has a loyal fan base as well at number five woodford reserve you know for the amount of money that brown foreman pumps into tv marketing on woodford reserve uh, i'm shocked it's not higher i mean i know five is a nice number on a on, a, on the grand scheme of things but um i just know they're spending a lot of money on marketing I just feel like Woodford Reserve should be higher. Uh, number four, Jim Beam. You know, that's a pretty solid one. Jim Beam's pretty solid. At number three, Maker's Mark. Now, as you may recall, in previous uh, discussions when I've talked about Drizzly data, Maker's Mark was at number two. So coming in at number two, Jack Daniels. Of course, Jack Daniels is a Tennessee whiskey meaning it goes through the Lincoln County uh, filtration process. But per Drizzly's data, it is a bourbon. So I think that's a that's an interesting leap. You know, Jack Daniels taking out uh, Maker's Mark in the number two spot, given that those two have a history. You can go check out my bur my book, Bourbon, The Rights, Fall, and Rebirth of American Whiskey, to kind of learn a little bit about that, uh, about that history between the two. But back in the day, Maker's Mark actually hired a spokesperson they found a guy in the South named Jack Daniel, and they hired him and dressed him up like the original Jack Daniel and said, hey, look, everybody, Jack Daniels is a Maker's Mark fan. And uh, so they used to take, uh, you know, pop shots at Jack Daniels all the time. And at number one, um, been number one all year based on the Drizzly data, that is Bullet Bourbon. Now, here's the thing. Now, when I put this out there last time, people are like, well, you know, Bullet spends a lot of money on marketing. Well, they do a lot on digital marketing. And so it makes sense that Bullet would be the leading the leading seller on Drizzly, which basically is an e-commerce site that taps into the three-tier system and delivers to people from local retailers. It makes a lot of sense to me that they would be number one. And so we should look at these numbers as really those who order online. But I have to tell you, when I first saw these numbers, when I was first, when I first got the access to Drizzly data, I was stunned, absolutely stunned that Bullet was so high. Now, don't get me wrong, 
Bullets had a nice run. They're, you know, it's a brand that's uh, definitely had its controversy, but you know, it continues to get poured in bars around the world. So Bullet at number one is your winner for Q3 2020. Now, if you want to learn more about American whiskey, click that subscribe button. My video is coming out all the time and live streams every Wednesday at 6.30. Also, I will be writing a wrap-up on this report and a little bit more analysis for Forbes. So make sure you're going to Forbes.com and checking out my column over there, as well as signing up for my newsletter on FredMinnick.com. I appreciate you tuning in for the best-selling bourbons of Q3 2020. Cheers. <laughs>